I recently automated Instagram DMs for one of my clients and with the same revenue, their costs are 15 times lower. Now they're spending $150 per month instead of $2400 per month. And this is not a bold statement because in this video I will break down the exact numbers. How much they saved, what is their chat revenue and what is the automation system behind it. My name is Dmitro Norik and I run an agency where we create AI systems for social media chats and today we will dive into the numbers behind one of these solutions. Firstly, let's check how it performs and what's the structure of all of it. We have two channels that bring volume in. These are ads and content. Ads go directly to the landing page with lead magnets. And after lead magnets, it goes directly to the low ticket course. Sometimes people come back to the chatbot or social media pages. It's not happening so often, but still sometimes it happens. And what our funnels are focused on is content. Content is backed up with CTAs, with hooks that lead to automated mini chat funnels. There we have the same lead magnets, for example, free courses, free videos, right? And after that, we have sequences that sell low ticket course, and they are also backed up with follow-ups that are made with AI sales chatbot. We give them lead magnets, free videos, then we send follow-ups, and when we get answer to these follow-ups, our AI sales chatbot answers everyone and trying to sell this course uh, further and further. But this is not only one segment of leads we have for our AI sales chatbot, because we have one course which is low ticket and we also have high ticket course, which we sell to the people who bought our low ticket course. So our AI sales chatbot serves these leads for low ticket and then we have another automation, another uh, chatbot connected for people that we want to buy high ticket course. And these are also connected to our chat through AI support chatbot that serves them as a, some sort of helper, assistant for their course and helps them with all of the inquiries. Now let's get to the calculations and to the financial part. This is the mini chat tool. We use it to create automations, connect AI, send follow-ups. For the sake of this video, I will not expose the names or nicknames of leads, but we will explore some statistics and uh, random chats where we have AI integrated. These are basically 99% of all of the chats we have to this account. You see some analytics here, and these are related to number of contacts we have been having for the last month. I will also add my notepad here. So for the last month, we have 1200 uh, active contacts. Some of them were inactive. That's why for net contacts, we have 1000 contacts for the last month. With this client, we started working from uh, November 11th. There we had more volume actually. Let's check this out. So from 11th November, and here we see that when we started, we have almost 3,600 net contacts. These are actual contacts that messaged us and that we replied to. So from November to December, there was 3,600. And let's check the next month. And for the, from December 11 to January 11, we had 1,400 net contacts. I will also <laughs> add calculator here. And if we calculate the average of these numbers, we will see that for these three months, we had on average 2000 leads, right? Sometimes more, sometimes less. Let's take, for example, uh, 1800. So this is the number of leads we had on average for every month. These leads, they are writing 24 seven because they're based worldwide with can't take specific working hours, time zones are different. And if we have approximately this number of leads writing to our uh, account every month, we understand that per day we have, assuming that we had 30 days in one month, we have 60 people writing to our account every day. And per one hour, there will be approximately two 
two and a half leads writing to us. To manage all of them, we need to have something that would answer them 24-7. If we talk about virtual assistants, for example, or employees, we understand that we would need someone talking to them in two or three different time zones. For example, three people with uh, eight hours in one working day or two people with 12 working hours. Let's assume that we will not take all of the hours into consideration and we will just put someone, two people, manage it 10 hours per day. So we cover 20 hours per day, right? This is not even 24 hours. And if we take it really low cost, and no, $4 per hour, we understand that Maybe it's like bad quality, but still we have someone who manages all of the leads that coming from content and it will be per day. To also understand that these people can't have like weekends or holidays because leads are writing literally every day. That's why we will make it times 30 because it's happening every day. And our approximate price we will pay for people who manage RDMs will be this number. Of course, if you have two in-house employees, not freelancers, but in-house employees, I think it can go lower uh, depending on the country you live in. But let's take this number. Assuming that we hire freelancers and freelancers, we pay to them $4 per hour. We can't have free days for these people, unfortunately, or we can provide them with weekends for free days, but still we will lose some part of the revenue because we can just lose these leads that write to us in the specific time period, for example, on weekends. And on weekends, we know that a lot of people watching content actually and spending a lot of time on social media and it will be our cost. So let's go back here and let's make it more clear for you. We will have costs and here we will put like costs or assistance. We also understand that maybe content maker, like our client itself, himself can answer all of the leads but this is not possible for many people, for many entrepreneurs, because they're busy. In case of our client, he manages uh, other businesses also. That's why there is no way we can manage it with our own capacity. Now let's calculate revenue that comes from our HS. We talked uh, with our client and the proportion is 90% of all the re revenue comes from ads. We don't know how many people write to us from us in the chat, but almost all of them just go directly to the lead magnet and from lead magnet, they buy a course. Of course, that I said, there is a portion of people that after lead magnets on us or uh, on the ad directly uh, on Facebook or Instagram, right to our chat. So we have 10% of all of the courses bought through the content and 90% of them are bought from ads and we have 500 courses bought every single month. This is the approximate number. Of course, uh, when we started, this number was much higher because you remember that the difference in coming leads were like two times or three times. And from this number, we take 10%. So it will be approximately 50 courses bought per month from content. We should understand that Content means have content running. We have many chat funnel, automated a rule based funnel, and then we have AI. But AI, as I said earlier, works for different segments of uh, existing clients and leads. Price for each course for low ticket, uh, it's $47 per course. And for a high ticket, it's, I think it's 97, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's something like 95% to 5%. And calculating this, we have that, so 50 courses, so 47 of them oh, for this amount of money. Let's take it as 47 courses and other three are high ticket. And calculating the revenue, we have that 47 times 47 is $2,209. Let me put it here for you. And three courses for this price. I hope I let you. Yeah. And summarizing it, we have 2,500 
dollars approximately uh, of revenue per month. So now what we see is that if we put together revenue and costs, of course, we have some additional costs like time spent for uh, content creation or uh, posting content. What else we can have here? What are additional costs? Like editing, probably. And what we see here is that this part of business, like running content and having people that manage uh, DMs, it would make no sense. It just won't be profitable. Of course, if we calculate ads, I'm not sure what's the cost per acquisition for the client from ads. But yeah, ads are profitable here. But if we talk about content, we see that if we have assistants managing it, even if we have like 2000 here, we still have some additional costs that probably go uh, higher this, the, this number. And still the effort we put into this part of the business, let's say into our content would not be profitable. How it worked for them on early stages is that they were managing all of the chats by themselves. But as you understand, it was very painful managing two leads per hour. It took them a lot of time just for this single business that is not like highly profitable. But what they did instead is that they put out everything automated after the content. They have created many chat funnel. We created it together. There are four or five many chat funnels for different stages. And after that, after lead magnets, after providing free value, we have AI managing every single message to sell low ticket course and high ticket course. And also if you have people that come for customer support, we have the same AI because this is all the same because it's like in one chat, right? We have AI uh, managing all of the conversations. Let's take a look at uh, the chats themselves. So here we see that uh, our AI talks on to delete already by 903. Yeah, I think it's like some type of equipment and the AI talking like nice choice. Here we see that person sent a keyword member that means that this person already bought a course and came back for help. The AI answered, I think it's many chats. So these are automated messages, not created by AI. At checking other chats, here we have just sequence. Here we have some sort of the pretty long conversation. So we see some messages from our lead. We see that AI is talking and answering every message. In terms of the context and human likeness of our AI chatbot, can say it's like the best example. It's built on uh, GPT 4.0. So this is not the best solution uh, for conversational AI chatbots. I would recommend some models from Anthropic. But still, uh, as I analyzed it, probably one month ago, only 5% maybe of all of these understand it's actually AI. We provided it with some examples, I think 10 or 15 of them, and it works great. Pretty close to the human behavior. Uh, here we also have some examples. I can't understand perfect end all. There's a dedicated lesson, so we see it selling the course. We have automated sequences, automated sequences. Here we also have something automated. Here we have a follow-up asking if there was a chance to check the course. So we have one Instagram chat covers uh, customer support and sales. And sales include uh, follow-ups, include automated sequences and include AI answers to random custom questions. Costs for AI are probably, let me quickly calculate it. So for make, we have $19 for many chat. It goes with 100 because we haven't optimized the price. If you optimize it, I think it can go uh, to the $40. And for OpenAI, I think they also pay like $40 per month. But this is really generous number of tokens. I think it, it's lower actually. So approximately we have $150. And we see that it's like 17 times lower plus cost that we have here. And in this case, also considering uh, the fact that we have some people coming for support here, 
This is really good return on investment. Also, depending on the time spent for content creation, I'm not sure how much time spent. You have a good employee that you can modify and adjust to your needs for the price 15 times slower uh, than salary of the employee you could have. And yeah, I will be sincere with you. There were days uh, when we should have managed some issues of AI, but it was like only a few times for the a uh, short period of time, so we like solved it in 30 minutes probably. And now we don't even touch anything. We have four sequences running on Make, the same number or even more like five or six automations running on ManyChat, and everything is automated. We don't even solve any issues at all. Maybe changing prompt sometimes, adding new examples for uh, AI to understand more and to be more human-like but still costs are really low in this case. I hope it was helpful for you. Just wanted to put out some practical examples, some real case for you to see how it can help you. If your cost for product goes even higher, like $100, then it will make even more sense for you. Or if you have larger amount of people messaging you every single day or maybe even every single hour. Thank you for checking this video, subscribe if it was valuable and see you in my next videos.